Hi everybody, it's Michelle and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I have been testing out using a digital bullet journal using OneNote on my tablet, phone, and computer. I still have my bullet journal set up in my planner just in case things don't work out. I always have my backup plan so that's still all here. But even though I'm a paper and pen type of person, I'm really a techie geek person also. I have so many electronics and when something new comes out, I feel compelled to buy things. I just, I love it. So I'm going to kind of give you an idea of how I set it up using OneNote and why it's kind of working for me right now. And those of you who are not familiar, OneNote is a note-taking program by Microsoft. It's part of the Office Suite, but now it is free for everyone. You can download it free. And there is a version for your computer, which I can't do a screenshot right now. I would show you what it looks like on the computer. But there is a computer version for PC and Mac. And then there is an Android version and an iOS version for your iPhones and iPads. So right now I have it set up on my computer, two of my computers in my office. I have it set up on my phone, which is the Galaxy Note 3. I have it set up on my old tablet, which is a Samsung Note 10.1. This is what I started with because I just got this new one yesterday, which is the Galaxy Note. I, I, there are a lot of reflections here. Galaxy Note uh, 10.1, the 2014 version, edition of the note. And it's a, it's newer and it is very similar to my Note 3 phone, just bigger. So that's all the equipment that I'm using. Now I prefer the notes because they come with an S Pen. It, these are designed to actually right on your tablets. That's what they're made for. The screens are different. They have more capacitive screens and you have to use this certain type of S Pen. I'm going to try to get it to focus. To write on there. And they do a great job with that. I, I had switched to these for my previous job because I took a lot of notes and I filled out paperwork and I could do it all on my tablet. So OneNote is really great with that because I would not try to switch over using a bullet journal if I couldn't actually write my notes out. If I had to type my daily notes and to do's, uh, it just wouldn't get done because I've tried to do that before in Evernote, which I'm a diehard Evernote fan, but it didn't work because I had to type everything and that just doesn't work because I like to scribble my notes. So I'm going to show you what it looks like here on this tablet. I don't currently have it installed on the iPad because I just let the kids play with this and I don't want them to get into my notes and accidentally delete something. So I didn't install it, but there is a version for iOS and it works best if you have a stylus so that you can write using your stylus. I'll put that aside. Put my old tablet aside because it's the same exact same on here as it is on here on the new one and I will show you what it looks like on here you just download the free app from the App Store or Google Play and this is my note for today it brings up a keyboard. I'm not going to get into all the details of exactly how to use OneNote, but I just wanted to show you guys how this is an extra stylus. There is an S Pen that comes with this tablet also. I like to increase the size so that I can write my notes real easily and I can just scribble, write my notes. I'm going to erase this in a minute because I'm not going to want that on there. But just that easy. I can write all my to-dos and stuff on here. And it works out much better. Now you can also, you set up notebooks. So it can work like a planner. You have your 
or separate planners actually. You have your planner and then you have your tab section here and then your notes in each tab. I have mine separated out just for personal stuff, my calendar, blogging information, family information, household information, software information, and just different notes under each one. And I will show you, give you an idea, let me look at yesterday's, see if it updated. This was yesterday. Here's my note from yesterday. See, I just have all my scribble notes, my to-dos, just a little drawing on there. And this right here is actually a screen clipping that I took off of the computer of the things that I bought on eBay yesterday. So you can add in pictures, you can add in files, you can add in spreadsheets, you can do all of that and just add it onto each note and then still write on top of it and do whatever you want to do. That's why it's so versatile. I used every, uh, OneNote in the past and I tried it, but I didn't really like it, so I stopped using it. And I just started using Evernote. And now I still use the Evernote just as a filing cabinet system because I can keep big files, I can keep just reference information in there. This is kind of for me to do my planning and to plan things out and to actually take notes. Whatever it is I would do in my planner, I can do here using OneNote, which I think is great. You have all your pens in here. You can do different uh, pen colors and it's all it's all built in and you don't have to worry about carrying all that around with you. And everything syncs together, all on the same account. I'll show you how it looks on my phone. Of course, this is a big phone and I could use this, so I have this with me everywhere that I go. I have it with me all day long, 24 hours a day. So if I get an idea in the middle of the night, I can just open it up and boom, there you go. I can write it down. That was my shopping list. Show you how this looks on here. Oh, not the quick notes. Everything sinks. It's sinking right now. Here's all my notes with my clip that was on there from the things I bought on eBay yesterday. And I can do the same thing here, make it bigger, smaller, so I can take my notes. So this is what I'm testing right now. And of course I have this extra stylus that I purchased that works with the Samsung tablets. Oh, these are great. They really are. And I will put a link to all this equipment that I use in the blog post that's going to go with this video, probably in the next two or three days or so. But the video is going to go up first. And like I said, never fear. I still have my planner because this is my wallet. This still goes with me everywhere. Everywhere that I go. It's in my purse. And I still, of course, have my Hobonichi because I journal every day in this. And this still has all my daily reference, I'll go back and write in notes on what I did every day. So that's still all right here. So if you have any questions about how I'm doing this or what I'm using, just put it in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a great day and I will see you next time.